Sepulpa firefighters are putting the squeeze on city leaders. They want the city to reconsider letting go of four firefighters and to keep all the fire stations open. News on 6 reporter Dan Buley shows how they're raising support and why their hopes are high tonight. Dozens of Sepulpa firefighters and their friends and families. So far, the public support, it's been it's been great. Brave the 100 degree temperatures with a message for Sepulpa City leaders. We'll just reconsider and try to find some other way to keep our firemen and keep our safety. This is the actual notice that the guys got. Nearly two weeks ago, the city told the firefighters union that four firefighters would lose their jobs and a station might be closed. The union has already made $390,000 in concessions, but the city says it needs another $110,000. It's, it's devastating um, knowing that the citizens are now going to be punished for something that, I mean, isn't really their fault at all. All week long, they've been collecting signatures. The tally so far is pushing 4,000 Sepulpans who want the city to keep the fire department at full staff. We're staying real positive. Chase Johnson is one of the firefighters who may be without a job in a month. He hopes this show of support will spur the city and union to reach a deal. I feel like if the city council realizes that the people of the city of Sepulpa don't want this to happen, I, I really feel like they'll have to, to figure something else out. The city also gave notice to five police officers earlier this month, but the FOP agreed to $330,000 in concessions and the notices were recalled. Hey! Firefighters here hope that means the city is willing to negotiate. Our guys are fighting for us real hard, and they're they're really making a difference. Uh, we're pretty positive about it. We think that everything's going to be okay. Now these signatures and the petition will be presented to the city council on Monday night at seven o'clock. They're also asking for any supporters within the city to show up and show their support. In Sepulpa, Dan Buley, the News on Six.